The fight's so good. So good. Pop, it is a wee bit trainer, and then, of course, Nido going Terry. I know I know Nido is one of the few care players who like was really excited about Terry being a shoulder lane himself. So we'll see what he can do with Terry. I mean he's used to the corner circle inputs and stuff like that, so yeah. it's definitely good thing he's good for. I think Terry also like one of those characters where like, you just don't see the representation at times where you do have middles as one of the few like mainstays of the Terry main, but definitely also seeing Nido and a couple of other players do with Terry do good with Terry definitely keeps the character in the end. Yeah, he's an interesting character. Uh, we just don't see him that much. Yeah. The point where a lot of people are still not sure where you can put him on uh, tier list, really. Yeah, it's difficult to tell. Like, Terry's tools, like, at 100%. Oh, wow. Yeah, when he tried to mash out, he got hit by him smash. It's really, really difficult to get out of it, too, with the way that we pretend it works. But, like, Terry's tools, when you put it into paper and describe it to anybody, they seem like a top tier. Like, having a final smash at 100% all the time, even if you already use it, is pretty good, pretty, uh, pretty broken stuff. But the problem that Terry seems to have is, like, he's very much like who you can, has some weight to him, has little time recovering at times, doesn't auto snap the ledge. Yeah. It's also not very hard to uh, own out, really. Yeah. The power waves are not bad, but you can play around it really well and still keep them out. Yeah. And the only option that Terry would have as a burst option is that he saw um, the side special. Oh, he was being tagged by these uh, projectiles a little bit too much. Yeah. Nice angle build of the shield, trying to avoid getting hit by a Leafy Trainer. Leafy Trainer, I think, Sizzler kind of talked to me about the character like a little while, like a long while ago when the game came out. He told me Leafy Trainer is a broken character that no one seems to understand or is used because this character literally has a limit with all all the moves and is able to buff itself as a character. So like Leafy Trainer is definitely one of those characters that like has been left unchecked in open for sure. She's so weird that like she's so weird and like not very cool. Like no one wants to. Play, a lot of people don't want to play these characters because of the character itself. Not like because yeah. he's bad or anything. It's just because like who wants to say they made weak for training? Everybody they wants to say like want to make cool characters. Not yeah. not to be oh. mean to weak for training mains out there. It's just this is how I see it. Honestly. Yeah, you want to be the guy who means the cool character with cool hair and a sword, not the guy who means the character that's one color. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and practices yoga. But, uh, you know, good, good pal, so good pal's making it work right now. He's like really giving Neo a very hard time. We haven't really seen the explosiveness of Terry that we come to expect. Yeah, tough calls are the way that so good playing. Oh my god, he might die here actually. You went nice. down here? Oh, he's good. Oh, nice. Use the, uh, the up B like has some tangibility, so. I'm super free to hit him. I like the fact that Nido's kind of aware of the way with the ball. Simply because, like, he knows that the ball is in place. It's also a hitbox. It can extend hitboxes as well. So you have to be really, really careful with it. But I also like the fact that when he came back from the ledge, he immediately went for a um, manual input burning knuckle. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Oh, I'm sorry, Buster Wolf. The, the only thing that I see it's good for- oh wow. Yeah, that was good. Right. That, was, that was textbook. I forgot, that it, I forgot that it has some armor on it, so it can yeah. go through projectile. Uh, so, he can kill him early here, but he has to like stay alive long enough for it to matter. I think that's what Nito's slowly seeing here, is the fact that like, so good pop. He's trying to make an approach, and all he has to do is try to like, punish him for the approaches. And then try to immediately find a way to come back. Yeah, really good use of burning up to come back on the stage. Like I mentioned, rising tackle doesn't always snap the ledge, so you can actually be hit out of it. But this is really good stuff to soak and pop through. Like, okay, okay, I don't want to overcome it here. Oh, he died to neutral. I never seen that move killed in my life, but it's like that for some Yeah, it, it's like one of the things of the character is like the way that so good pop was playing is always have um, sun salutation or always on and deep breathing active as much as possible um yeah. but also except the needle like we i saw earlier i didn't get to finish but like he did a really good job of coming back on the stage inspecting the ball but also like knowing when to go for just like okay he's not gonna see me go for 
Buster Wolf right away from the ledge, so I might as well do it. If, if I miss, I do have a little bit of the armor, and I do get to skip most of the ledge. Yeah, Nito had really good recoveries in general. Yeah, he did, he did. You can kind of have to if you're going to play this character. It's like... He has... I mean, I guess his recovery's not terrible. It's because it doesn't slap the ledge. So he has a lot of mix up you can go for, but... You have to go for them. So you're just going to get edge guard for free. Especially a character like, uh... A train. So I don't know if it's... Is top eight supposed to be best of five? I'm not succeeding, sure. Uh... So... Uh, War Chief? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think uh, Nito is going to stay Terry here just because I don't know. I feel like he's using this whole like online thing, but this is other characters. Yeah, I mean, we didn't see a lot of the Terry. Oh my. It was more of like seeing his Terry like every now and then. He was focusing on the like, Ryu and Ken. I think this is a good way to like, get better with the character. But, uh, man, he got destroyed in that stock. Good pop was like, you know what? You always keep going low. I'm just gonna hit you out of your terrible of you. Oh, then he yeah. air dodged off stage. I mean, Nita will take it. Oh, that was good. That was so good. I have to look back out because he did. An opportunity where he was going for like a possible fake out with an aerial, avoids the ball, avoids basically the entire ground game, that's really problem there. And then immediately goes over him with power down. Literally got 43% from using power down twice pretty much. Yeah. I mean, he, he always damaged his power down. <laughs> like so good pops, like any of the setup play he would have had, he just went all over it, got that percent. So good stuff to him to like slowly understand how so good was kind of around. He's gotta be careful with this jump off the throw because every time he's trying to go for them, Silk and Pop is always on the move. Once again, really good counter play to the ball. Like he's knowing, okay, he's gonna set up around with the ball at the ledge for a lot of good reasons. I need to stop. I need to stop making him go for the ball. That was a really good edge guard. Yeah. Unfortunately, the yeah. Is, uh... Oh, damn. Oh. oh, he died to that. I think he jumped in the blast zone. And look like he did from my angle. We'll take it if you need I feel like, uh, the Pops Weak Fit Trainer is starting to get a hang on how uh, Nito wants to recover off stage. He's gotten two really good edge guards on him already. Nice. A couple jabs into Power Dunk, getting a little bit of percent. I like that Silicon Pops uses himself on the sky. Goes for a little bit of a heal. Nice. I, I like even the fact that he goes for the turnaround for it, uh, for it. Uh, Yo. I think we Fit Trainer like, runs faster when they have deep breathing too. He can like, just run full screen. It's literally a character with limit and hero knockback if he gets for deep breathing and consolidation. Like those two in combination make the character very really ridiculous. Like the scissor or you think about this character like, like at launch. Yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of people know we Fit Trainer is good. It's just that like one wants to play the character. I want to make the cool. I think we the trainer is even easy to use either. Just so awkwardly compared to most characters. Oh, that the Buster Wolf from full screen, not gonna kill. Still has go though, so he's very dangerous. Yeah, I always get scared to jump whenever he has the power geyser. Yeah, the power geyser can cover a lot of options if you have the properly. Okay, he's running into all the projectiles now. Oh my gosh, he just ran up and punched him in the face. One too many projectiles in face. And so the pop will take that with a 2 0 so far. I mean, Nito still has one more game, but that was really good on him to just once again always call out so good pop on the soccer ball. Probably because, like, he's always a well of okay, he wants to edge guard, he wants to make a play, he wants to set up for this. If I eliminate this move, he will definitely get punished for it, and if he keeps doing for it, he's just going to get punished until he figures something out. But uh, I think one thing that Silken Pop is always doing is, like you said, anticipating where Nito is going to land in general and his recoveries. Yeah, very impressive. Especially since um, Harry is not a common character either. So, 
I don't get that many opportunities to uh, practice the Terrify skill. Yeah, we don't see that many Terries in general. Like, here we only have Nito. I know Nitro also goes Terry every now and then. Uh, just to name like the two of them. I think for Weefa Trainer, I know for sure we only have... Um, he's from the, he's from the IE, and I'm going to forget his name. Rockstar Ace. There you go, Rockstar Ace. We only have yeah. him. And we rarely see Rockstar Ace at any other tournament aside from MSN and the IE tournament. So I haven't seen if Nido has played against him a few times. I feel like they have, but not recently, of course. Not before, you know, the, the pre-Rona times, as one would say it. Yeah. It might be, I don't know, it's probably a case of like both of them figuring out the matchup, honestly. Yeah. And also good stuff on Nito, like like you mentioned earlier, like this isn't a, this isn't a character he normally goes on offline, it's usually Ken, or and occasionally Ryu, and he's giving time to like, okay, I'm just going to train up this Terry as much as possible, even at the mercy of lag, so that when we come back offline, like, I'm, my, my Terry's going to be as good as possible, or as good as mm -hmm. it can be. Yeah. I mean, uh, Nitro has gotten some pretty good results with Terry already, yeah. so it's possible to do well with uh, the character. Yeah, we've seen him do pretty well on like tournaments. Like he's gone to a few hats, but not that many. But we see him do pretty well usually at the enough. I still don't know like what's a really good Terry stage, honestly. I'm with you on that one. I wouldn't be able to tell you what's a good Terry stage. I'm assuming they're relatively the same stages that Ken and Ryu would be good at, but I wouldn't be able to 110% tell you, like, oh yeah, this is definitely a good Terry stage. Especially in this matchup. Oh, it always, like me personally, I would always want to play a small stage versus a weak hit trainer. Yeah, I, you don't I don't want to get zoned out the whole game. Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't want to give them the space to zone you out, or the space to get things like deep breathing and things like rotation. And even if they do, you want to make sure you can keep close the gap as soon as possible. Oh, well, both players kind of in uh, some... some debate counter picks, I'm assuming? I don't know, I'm not... You know, I'm all modding the game right now, but... This is pretty far in the tournament, so, like, no, there's no, uh, shame in- Wait, what happened? Neo left. Damn, well, War Chief will be coming in for the sub. Okay, looks like Nito has called in the sub card, and War Chief is going to play the next match. Uh, take it away, War Chief, man. Good luck, bro. You remember, Nito is counting on you to move on the back. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened. But... Oh, he he, 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 he called for a mod for a uh, test. Egg test. Oh, okay, I see. That's what this is. I'd be like, this is what you sign up for, you, the online tournament. Yeah, I, I think some players are very well aware of like. If I sign up for an online tournament, I do submit myself to the fact that of possibility that we both can have a flag, regardless of our connections. There are players who've understood that, and there are players who unfortunately have not. <laughs> so, my, 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 my sincerest thanks to all of you guys who've gone through it and go like, you know what, there's like, I understand it's probably coming from me, or it's not coming from me, I'm just going to be Q and I can, you know, those are the real MVPs, you know. Oh, it looks like they're gonna play it finally. In three. Doesn't have lag, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so much. Better. Back on PS2. This is the third match on PS2. Uh, yep. Uh, it's a pretty. I will say like, it's a pretty solid stage for both characters, but I think more so we think we think has like pretty much the ledge to run to and the way to play. And also having the platform as well to like, use as a tool. Especially when playing from a ledge, because the platforms are... I mean, both PS2 and, and Battlefield, the platforms are very, very close to the ledge, so we can definitely use those. Yeah, and I think, uh... This stage is not super huge. 
So it's not like impossible for me to approach, really. Yeah. It's it's, it's, it's size, but it's not as big as it's not as small as Battlefield, but it's a pretty solid medium size. Stage. As the go meter. Oh my god. I thought that shit was gonna pop. Yeah, same. Right in the face. We're really good on him to still make the approach, because I thought the shit was gonna break too. Oh my. The guy, he always does Buster Wolf. Wake up, you get up Buster Wolf. So like so much range, you can skip a lot of the ledge, have a little bit of armor, and if your opponent is trying to like, punish you poorly, or if they made a, made a mistake, you know, punishing you, they, it can cost them a stop. Mm. And, Oh, damn. I was gonna say. I can't tell if that shield poker he drops shield, but either way, it's rough. Didn't take percent though, so. I'm actually even game here. You fit trainer on the ledge, you love to see it. Unless you're playing against it, you, you don't like to see it. Because <laughs> it's, really, it's really annoying to deal with. Sometimes I don't blame the player for meaning we fit. I blame the designer for, these, for how they make it. <laughs> At times. I feel like we fit trainer is like the only character in this game that like gets away with fucking the ledge. Sonic. I hate to say it, but Sonic. <laughs> I know it's just Sonic plank the ledge. Oh, plank the ledge? Mm, not really, but Sonic can definitely hang out around the ledge. Wow, that was really good. Buster Wolf. Not enough to take uh, almost, it almost killed that like low. Now you're in the hundred. Uh oh. In time, yeah, he's too far away from kill on the left side. It still has opportunity here because he has go. Oh my! So power guys, it just destroys the projectiles. Good to know. Okay. The double jump. Yep. Let's shoot to the ledge. Oh my goodness! But this. I have to be careful about the lighting. It's so good popping. Really good around the present. He's got deep breathing too. Oh my god, the legend. This recovery, man. I think Nito is looking for some kind of opening at this point here. I respect the power guys, but the biggest problem though is like the end like left him open to get hit by the ball and like briefly got him out. Nice. Yeah. Shield poke, man. Or the other one Deal with Terry like pressing buttons on their shield. So they even get shield poked with it. They try to jump away and eat it. It's very similar to like King Ryu in that scenario. Uh, yeah, back to uh, last stock situation here. All these guys are just like talking projectiles at each other from like full screen. I think it's really good that Nito like understands that like, I have to kind of run with shield and then back out with shield. He's really understanding like the shield game and the projectile game, but, like how to run a shield. But also like, Silgan Pop is really really well aware of like, okay, once I hit the Terry, I can definitely like give him such a tough time. I thought that back air was well spaced enough to like avoid getting punished with shield, but I was so wrong there. <laughs> then again, we fit. Oh my god. Really, we fit is so scary. Oh my god, he almost got that volleyball set up to work. A good uh, way to land there though, canceling out the deep green with the air dodge and being driven to the right. Be difficult to trap his landing. The sun rotation fully charged too, got the deep breathing as well. Oh I my know. god, get off me. Across the stage too, oh, I mean, yeah, He had no chance of losing it. 3-0 from so good pop.